This conference will now be recorded. So in this like we are going to go ahead with the dynamic programming in which we'll be creating a program. First step is the step one is okay, first step. Step one, we're going to create a program. What type of a program is it? It's not an executable program. See, remember you we have done a, we have done a executable program, we have done include programs. Now we are going to do a program of type module pool. Okay, we are going to do a program of type module pool. So in this, this is this is the program that we are going to create, and obviously we have to start with set and uh, set says and set uh, set vip underscore module pool. This is what we have, and then step two, step two would be to design a screen. And where are we going to design a screen? We're going to design screens in in the module pool screen of screen painter. This is called screen painter, and the transaction code for this is is SE51. Okay, let me also add the transaction code for the first step. We all know that, but still, SE, SE38 or SE80, both we can do it, right? So, here we can do it from SE38 or SE80. Here we are going, we are going to do that with SE51 or SE80. And step 3 would be to create a transaction code. Uh, unlike this executable programs, you cannot execute the screen through this just by clicking F8. You have to design a transaction code for this mandatory. It's mandatory. Without transaction code, we cannot execute. Because it's not an executable type program, it's a module pool programming. Because it's a module pool program, we will not be able to execute it just like that. Okay. So we have transaction code. We need to create that in SC90. SC90. So for this, there is no other alternative. We have to create an SC SC93. Okay. So these are the three simple steps in which what we are going to do is we are going to design. We are going to have a lot of events in screens. We are going to do a lot of things like that. But as of now, we will have some two modules. Two modules for process before output and process after input. We'll have two modules. These two modules for process before process of input we are going to recreate them or we are going to link them into the program okay so i'll just show you how we do that and this is a very simple one in which we are going to uh, you know uh, uh, add this so let us go ahead and create that particular screen now so first where are we going to do we are going to design a program without a program we cannot design a screen okay because screens are dependent on the program So now I'll go for Z123456 underscore simple screen screen program simple screen program okay then create now we have screen programming here we'll go for instead of executable include program we're going to do the module pool programming now so let's go with the module pool program and just say save and here obviously we need to give the package name let's give the package name say enter and i'll go for a, my own request okay. say okay now here i'm not going to write anything here just a program that's it a plain program activate later we'll write the logic here that's it once we activate this this is our program name okay so this is our program name for this screen this program we have to create a screens and where do we do that in sc51 transaction so we'll go to the sc51 transaction give the program name that we have created there without that we cannot do the screens so i'm giving the first screen number is 100 in general we'll start with 100 200 300 like that in the real time but it is up to you which one you want to start with you can start with some 999 and uh, then go back to 998 anything any number is okay but yeah this is how we do it and then we'll click on create so new screen we have the flow logic in the flow logic 
will have these two things. We just need to uncomment this modules and, we, and this this one also we have to uncomment. These are the two modules. We will click on the layout. So when you click on this layout, uh, what will happen is for some if the patch this patch the in the GUI patch is not installed then this will not open guys so we have to make sure that this pop-up opens for you it doesn't open we have to talk to the admin guys and make sure that we have it so we'll we'll go ahead with the simple text i'm going to go ahead with now you are going to give your own name okay text one i'll, I'll be giving you the name of it as text one here i'll give it as text one and I'll give here it as uh, Vikram Aditya. Okay, and then we have to just click on save. Okay, so yeah, activate. Okay, once you activate, you will get this screen. Just say okay, and then back. Okay, and this is active. So what you have to do is you have to you have to double click on this so that it gets created in the program but before doing that we have to make sure that we are coming we have come out of the program if you are already inside the program this will this step this step will not be successful so i'll double click on this say yes in the main program yes okay and this is the one we have save back double click on this you want this in the main program yes and activate so once it's been done uh, we'll go back okay so once it's been done we will go ahead with uh, we'll go ahead with the screen we'll, uh, we'll go ahead with the transaction code so for the transaction code we'll go for SC91 sorry SC93 and we'll create a transaction code for this. The transaction code, we, I'm doing, giving it a ZBIP12, ZBIP12, create basic screen display. And we have to make sure that only the first option is there. Remember the, pro, the transaction codes that we were creating for the normal programming, we have selected the second one, but it should be first one now. Just say okay. And once it's been done, we have to give the program name here and then screen number is 100 save say ok back this is zvip12 so we have zvip So you get this screen actually I, I didn't write any back button i didn't enable any back button or something but if you would have done it it would have been there okay so this is the one we have okay so this is a simple program in which we are actually creating a creating a simple basic screen i repeat the steps would be first you go to se se 38 and create a program which is of type module pool and then we create a screen in the se, SE 51 and then we go and uh, go to sc93 and create a transaction code that's it so that whatever we, read, we wrote in the screen in the screens will be appearing here this conference is no longer being recorded